chefs of Reddit, what do we all need to stop ordering? Had a group complain that their scallops tasted like they came from the bottom of the ocean. That's literally where scallops come from. Freaking people, man. Swordfish, it's lousy with parasites. A pepperoni passion from Domino's. If you order double pepperoni with extra cheese it's the same pizza but cheaper. People who ask for an item clearly not on the menu and then get mad. Worked at a steakhouse and a person got angry, to the point of requesting a manager, because we did not have avocado for their burger. But my response to the entire fiasco, I was on expo at the time, was if they want to pay an upcharge of $20 I will send a cook to the store to buy one. They never got the avocado. 20 bucks to take a cook off the line for half an hour is a pretty good deal to be honest. Server at a vegan restaurant here. A woman asked me for something on the menu with no potato or starches, no corn, no wheat, no soy, no vegan cheese, nothing processed, no added sugar, and no fruit. I suggested a salad, a plain salad. I don't want a salad, that's all I have at home. When I eat out I want something different. I dealt with multiple fussy eaters, people with crazy diets, or crazy allergies, and this was the first time I ever had to say we can't accommodate that order, you haven't given me much to work with, maybe if you eased up on one or more restrictions, she just had a glass of water. It's not on the menu but can you whip me up a dragon fruit gyres in a cloud layer of elemental darkness served in a ham tambourine? It's my birthday so you have to do it. Stop ordering food that's new to you just to try it and then send it back if you don't like it, expecting not to pay for it. The first part is fine, it's the second part that's the issue. Pre-ordering food, turning up late, then demanding we cook it again for no extra charge because I didn't eat the first one. The bee who did this to me when I was a manager of a beef eater. Oh my god, the smarmy look on her face. Boy oh boy was she unhappy when I charge all of her mates a portion of the original meal. And said yeah she said stick it on the bill. And lucky you dopey freak. People that have to order crap done a specific way and then be about it. I can give you a list. Lady ordered chicken schnitzel but didn't want it deep fried so she wanted it grilled. So she got her breaded grilled chicken and complained that it was bland. Guy didn't want his calamari deep fried because he was on a diet, so we pan friend it in minimal oil and he complained because it didn't look as good. Lady ordered truffle sauce, complained because it was too strong. It's freaking truffle you idiot what do you expect? And my personal favorite. A couple complained because their Kilpatrick oysters were warm and slimy. Like frick off. Firstly have you ever eaten an oyster? And it freaking should be warm. It just came from under the grill. Dang people seriously pee me off. I like that dish insert any TV chef did at that TV show. What it was called if you want Gordon Ramsay fantasy course. Please go to one of his restaurants. Stop telling the wait staff your sensitivity or preference is an allergy. There is a whole giant cleaning and safety operation that takes place when we get an allergy. And we have to treat everyone seriously because we don't know. The number of times people with dairy allergies put milk in their coffee after their meal. Tell us about nut allergies when ordering dessert after eating the rest of their meal that had nuts in it. Or upon being told they could not have a modified version of a dish without shellfish respond with they'll have it anyway. It's not serious. Not to even mention things like allergies too. Melted cheese specifically. Dark meat but not white meat from a chicken. Any eggs that aren't scrambled. Peppers but paprika is fine. Very serious gluten allergy that will cause extreme pain to the unfortunate patron who is chugging down his third pint of double IPA. I could go on. Just say you don't like it and we won't put it in there. We want you to enjoy your meal. I work 14 hour days to cook people good food as best I can. I want you to be happy. I promise. Lying is disrespectful. Things that are impossible or a contradiction aka eggs over easy, hard yolk. What? I work at a breakfast place, and I have seen the most bizarre ways to order eggs. Anything not on the menu. Not a chef, was a waitress, but if you don't know what an ingredient is, please ask, especially if you have dietary requirements. I got screamed at by a vegetarian couple because I made them eat meat for the first time in 15 years. They ordered the pea and pancetta soup, without knowing what pancetta was, and without telling me they were vegetarians. I was expected to somehow read their minds and know they were vegetarian and warn them. 
former steak and shake cook here, the 7x7 burger. 7 patties with 7 slices of cheese stacked on top of each other on a bun. A pain to make and an easy way to cardiac arrest increase your waistline and damage your digestive tract. There was so much grease that we had to leave the stack of patties and cheese to drain on a different plate first so that it wouldn't turn the bun into a new state of matter between solid and liquid. The comments have informed me that it's called a colloid. By the way, one person cooks all the patties, two on rush hours, zero to two more add condiments. That person may not make a penny over minimum wage and never gets tipped. Swordfish. All fish can have parasitic worms, but swordfish can be riddled with them. Let's just say it's pretty unappetizing. I used to work at an Irish pub 7 years ago. We had a bud spud and steak. Get a beer, get a potato and get a steak for like 10 bucks for a fundraiser. Someone attended and asked for a half steak well done, and half rare medium rare but she didn't want it cut in half. Wanted the steak whole. I was able to kinda do it. Half the steak was hanging off the side of the grill. Cooking each side one at a time, but she sent it back. Wasn't cooked right. Boss got mad at me cause I didn't cook the steak two different ways right. It was a crappy day. So yeah, avoid asking for a stupid freaking steak order please. This is highly dependent on the quality of the restaurant, but a good rule of thumb is not to order stuff that is out of character with the rest of the menu. Every restaurant menu has a general theme to their food. That could be based on regional dietary limitations or main course, steakhouse for example, or whatever. A lot of places will also have a couple of things that break that theme so the picky eaters in the group have something to order. That stuff will often be made with older ingredients, and by people who aren't used to making it since it comes up so rarely in a night. I work in fine dining so no horror stories of rancid food. However, if you are gluten free, as I am myself, except that some items are not an option. Constantly I see servers coming back to ask if calamari can be done gluten free. No. The breading is flour. They said it doesn't matter just don't bread it. Okay fine. Oh, gets plates sent back for calamari being tough from being oil logged. God dang. I'm a celiac. I accept things are out of my reach on menus. Get your crap together. Order within your dietary restrictions and don't make us bend over backwards to make it unappetizing. Stop trying to make your own dish out of our ingredients. I have no problem with substitutions, sauce on the side, etc. But if you come in and say can I have this dish, but I want this instead of this, this instead of this, and can you serve it as part of a salad then that's not okay. It's one thing to work around an ingredient you don't like, but it's another to treat the kitchen as your pantry. Dishes are designed the way they are on purpose. If you mess with that formula too much, we're no longer responsible for your food tasting good or not. Stop ordering dishes that aren't promoted as being gluten free in the first place, if you actually aren't gluten intolerant. The dishes that are marked as gluten free are prepared so that absolutely no contamination will occur. If a dish is not gluten free and you ask for it to be, it will halt all production in the kitchen until your dish is done. And sometimes you won't get the exact dish because of prep work on ingredients, which might involve being in contact with gluten. Stop ordering new things halfway through the cooking process. It's really annoying when you change your mind and the dish is already cooked and we have to start over. Some things can't be undone and we end up wasting food. $20 sign plus salads. Unless it's got some fantastic protein component to it. It's just not worth the money. Buy the ingredients for less than $10 and make it yourself. Don't get me wrong. Salads can be delicious and well worth ordering. But don't pay on tray prices some lettuce and fruit. Example, I used to work at a popular patio restaurant right in the middle of a rich, beautiful part of town. Due to the location and the general swagger of the place, we knew we could charge $24 for this strawberry goat cheese salad in the summer, and we hyped the fact that it was gluten free. Food cost for it was maybe $4, prep time negligible, execution time, 1 minute. So the margin on these things was just insane. I swear, every time summer rolled around, we made more money from girls in their early 20s ordering that salad than we made on booze. Oh, and don't forget to add 3.5 ounces of chicken for $9. I only have two fryers and it's so awful making sampler platters. 
do not state on your order that you are allergic to something that you are not actually allergic to. If you have certain foods that you are trying to avoid for dietary concerns or maybe you just don't like that is fine. Order something on the menu that suits or needs or just tell your server you are avoiding X food item for whatever reason. Do not get embarrassed and lie about an allergy so that you are not served gluten or WE. When a kitchen has to deal with an allergy order there is a whole procedure involved and it's a pain in the butt. Whereas if it is known that there's not an actual allergy concern they can just use the same equipment but omit the bread or pasta or WE you need. You have been visited by the rare garlic doggo. If you subscribe to that dude reddit you will have good luck for 69 years. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Or don't. Either way, have a great day you magnificent people.